he earned my respect, you know, because he, he wasn't willing to back down to be a pawn in this whole process. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at 10 times when athletes fought with their own teammates. Marco, having a word with Kerem, his own teammate. For this list, we'll be looking at instances when teammates fought each other or got into major confrontations. Which incident amongst teammates shocked you the most? Let us know below. Bill Romanowski versus Marcus Williams. The four-time Super Bowl winner Bill Romanowski is a polarizing figure in the NFL. On one hand, great linebacker. Whoa. On the other hand, terrible sportsmanship. Romanowski was involved in several altercations on and off the field during his pro career. But arguably the worst incident happened during training camp for the Oakland Raiders in 2003. After tight end Marcus Williams blocked Romanowski during a scrimmage instead of brushing it off, the linebacker squared up to Williams. He pulled off Williams' face mask and punched him in the face. He was knocked out and also sustained some injuries. The incident was taken to court in 2005 and Romanowski was ordered to pay Williams $340,000. Keith Primo versus Bob Probert Typically fighting doesn't usually result in the people involved becoming friendly afterward, but legendary Canadian hockey players Keith Primo and Bob Probert aren't like most people. During a practice in 1994, Probert, who had a massive reputation as an enforcer, had been winding up the younger Primo. So he decided to square up against Probert. Teammates and coaches initially just watched as the two threw multiple punches at each other. But as the fight went on, they eventually came in to separate them. Apparently the bad blood was settled. You know, uh, stuff like that happens and I just, uh, just trying, to, trying to break it up. But this wouldn't be the last time Primo took on a teammate. During his stint with the Flyers, he fought Chris McAllister and broke his nose. Yikes. And Primo is going to clock McAllister and break his nose. Salimatu Karuma versus Kamite Elizabeth Dabu. After losing to Serbia at the 2022 FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup, the Serbian player Sasa Kajo was being interviewed. However, nearby a kerfuffle broke out between these Mali players with some punches being launched. <laughs> Their teammates quickly moved to separate them. In the aftermath, the pair apologized for their actions and stated it was due to frustration from the loss. Bismarck Duplessis versus Mohamed Hawass. If there are two rugby union players you shouldn't mess with, it's these two. They've been involved in several controversial incidents throughout their careers. In 2018, Duplessis and Hawass were warming up for the French team Montpellier prior to a match. However, for some reason, the two behemoths decided that trying to knock the other out was a good idea before the actual game even started. Punches from both players were flying in as their other teammates tried to separate them. Somehow the incident had no lingering effects on Montpellier's going into the match against their opponent. Racing 92, they hammered them 41 to three. Lee Bowyer versus Kieran Dyer. Oh, there's a fight going on here between two Newcastle players. Kieran Dyer and Lee Bowyer are having a fight. On April 2nd, 2005, Newcastle United had a horrible day. Taylor on the line for Sell to win it, and Taylor handled it. It'll be a penalty and a red card for Steven Taylor. They were down a player when Steven Taylor was sent off and soon found themselves losing 3-0 to Aston Villa in the English Premier League. Which way will this go? Same way but higher. Same result though. It's 3-0 Aston Villa. It's definitely three points now for Aston Villa. And a thoroughly miserable afternoon for Newcastle United is completed. It couldn't get worse, right? No, it could and it did. Teammates Lee Bowyer and Kieran Dyer seemingly had words on the pitch causing the latter to ram his head at Dyer. The two then got in a scuffle, with punches being thrown and shirts being pulled. Quickly, the referee blew his whistle as Newcastle teammates and even Villa players attempted to separate the two players. The ref sent them both off, reducing Newcastle to eight men. Afterward, Bowyer, who instigated the brawl, was fined and suspended. The fans, the chairman, um, the managing staff, all the players, and um, everybody that's connected to Newcastle, um, family and and everybody that witnessed what happened today on the football pitch, um, sincerely sorry. Jeff Kent versus Barry Bonds. It's no secret amongst fans and those in the MLB that these two San Francisco Giants stars did not get along. During a game against the San Diego Padres, which the team went on to lose, tensions reached an all-time high and boiled over. The two were screaming at each other in the dugout and a scuffle broke out. While their teammates helped to separate the two, it was seemingly the authority of manager Dusty Baker that stopped the battle. It spelled the beginning of the end for Kent's tenure with the Giants. He left the team the following season to join the Houston Astros. 
Draymond Green versus Jordan Poole. If you want me to be honest with you, I still don't know how much the world may think it blew up. Sparked by the leak of the video, the incident did blow up. It went viral. It was everywhere. It was front page news. It was discussed, dissected, and debated around the clock in the sports universe. Over the years, the Golden State Warriors have become synonymous with winning in the NBA. But most recently, they've made headlines as a result of some in-team clashing. During a practice, things got tense as Draymond Green can be seen clearly getting heated with teammate Jordan Poole, who seemed nonchalant about it all. Eventually, Green was getting more and more aggravated, and it led to him directly going up to Poole and giving him his peace of mind. Teammates were quick to separate the two, but Green was able to land a vicious blow. He was not suspended, but fined by the team. Only time will tell if this will affect the team or not in the long term. There is like this, this, this dark cloud in the room, and I caused that, you know, so I, I apologize to, to his family. Paul O'Connell versus Ryan Caldwell. Legendary Ireland's rugby union player Paul O'Connell had a reputation for picking fights, but that changed one fateful day in 2007. During a training session, Ryan Caldwell was desperate to make an impression and get into the Ireland team. However, after getting under O'Connell's skin one too many times, the Munster icon snapped and punched him in the face. Ireland's doctor rushed over and had to resuscitate the then Ulster player on the pitch as they waited for an ambulance. Caldwell was taken to hospital and ended up being okay. After that near-tragic experience, O'Connell toned down his aggression. Joey Barton vs. Usman Dabu Barton regularly caused problems on and off the pitch throughout his career. He was a manager's worst nightmare. In 2007, he attacked Manchester City teammate Usman Dabu during a practice. Knocked unconscious, the French midfielder was taken to the hospital for his injuries. The police were soon called in and arrested Barton for assault. The England international pled guilty and received a suspension, ordered to complete community service, and pay a fine. While out on bail for the Dabu assault, Barton moronically had a fight in Liverpool. This resulted in him being sentenced to six months in prison. These incidents basically meant the end of his city career, but somehow he still made a living as an athlete afterward. That's what makes me the player I am, you know, I'd never ever shy away from, from a, a contra con uh, controversial, should we say, or um, confrontational moment. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Gilbert Arenas vs. Javaris Crittenton Teammate fights certainly go up a few levels in seriousness when weapons are brought in. In 2009, Washington Wizards Gilbert Arenas and Javaris Crittenton argued in the locker room over a gambling deck. Instead of fisticuffs, the two pointed firearms at each other as their basketball teammates ran for cover. These are registered to you? Ooh, were they? Mm. Prob probably. Luckily, no one was injured, but the two had broken laws with their over-the-top actions and were suspended by their team. Yeah, and I agree. You know, that's, that's bad judgment on my part, you know, storing them here, and, you know, I take responsibility for that. Arenas pled guilty to carrying an unlicensed weapon. He received two years of probation and 30 days in a halfway house. He has a, uh, an idea about how he said it. He, the reason he had it there was to take it away from uh, the home, but I think it's just it's bad judgment, bad judgment and uh, being very immature. Crittenton got a year of probation and was released by the Wizards. Years later, having clearly learned nothing from this experience, Crittenton was sentenced to 23 years in prison for the fatal shooting of Julian Jones. You ever talked to him? I don't even know who he is. Oh. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.